नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस पर्टिकुलर बैटरी चार्जर आईसी इट्स डिजाइन एंड डिटेल प्रोसेस दिस इज ऑटोमोटिव स्टैंड एलोन 800 मिली एंपियर लीनियर बैटरी चार्जर आईसी फॉर वन और टू सेल्स ऑफ लिथियम आयन बैटरीज और लिथियम थेरम फॉस्फेट बैटरीज और वन टू सिक्स सेल्स ऑफ निकल मेटल हाइड्राइड बैटरीज लाइक एन एम बैटरी सो इन दिस सेशन वॉट विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इज विल ट्राई टू डिजाइन or implement one of the application with two cell lithium ion battery okay so generally lithium ion batteries are prominently used these days okay so this is a particular circuit that i have designed uh, for this particular parameters like 100 milliampere charging current is there 5 hours of charge timing and 8.2 volt of v set okay so as you know a uh, one cell of lithium ion battery has around 3.7 volt of nominal voltage and maximum voltage is 4.2 volt okay so 3.7 to 4.2 volt is there so for two two cells what will happen uh, 3.7 into 2 that is 7.4 volt to 8.4 volt it will be okay so that's the reason i have set the output voltage to 8.2 volt so 8.2 volt is the voltage setting that is set got it why we are stressing on this particular uh, you know like uh, ic is because this is very good ic uh, it is applicable for three kinds of battery chemistries as well as this is linear battery chargers are very low so very low cost design solution okay and the best part of this particular thing is it can be used in many applications like telematic uh, telematic control unit or emergency call cells or fleet management asset tracking you know and many remote keyless entries and all so let us directly enter into this particular design okay and we'll try to understand how to calculate this particular values of uh, charge set um, like uh, charge current settings or charge timer setting or charging voltage setting okay and temperature safety settings okay all these things we'll try to understand one by one so let me get into the lithium ion implementation so i have done it for you <clears throat> first of all there is one uh, design that is already given two cell lithium ion charger uh, with power part design example that is given by uh, data sheet of texas instrument okay so this we can see so if you see the design requirement first design requirement is the input supply is up to 18 volt okay and the battery is two cell lithium ion so it can go up to 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt multiplied by 2 okay and the fast charge current is 100 milliamps and the charge voltage that is set to 8.2 volt okay the safety timer that is set to 5 hours so 5 hour after 5 hours the whether the battery is charged or not charged we have to shut down so basically once battery voltage reaches more than 8.2 it will shut down automatically like that will enter into the uh, you know like uh, termination current mode termination charge mode okay like termination current mode however if after 5 hours also it doesn't reach to that voltage then what will happen it will automatically shut down now the termination current is 10% of high charge that is going to be 10 milliamps because 100 milliamps is the current that is set and i precharge is precharge means when battery is totally drained okay in that case we should not charge the battery immediately to high charge currents okay that's the reason we are going to take only 20% of 20% of high charge current that is 20 milliamps and ts that is uh, thermal shutdown our uh, temperature sensitivity will be there which will be used using 10 kilo ohm ntc got it so this is a design requirement and this is the complete design that is shown by the uh, data sheet so charge safety timer is set to 5 uh, hours using 100 kilo ohm that i will show you how how it is set okay so this is set to 5 hours okay similar to that v voltage setting is set to 8.2 volt using 4.7 kilo ohm and i set is set to uh, 100 milliampere using 3 kilo ohm uh, resistor okay and these two are status leds that is used let us let us try to understand our design okay <clears throat> so this is our design okay which is used here so as i told you we have the input voltage here so let us say input voltage will be uh, up to 18 volt so basically i will be using uh, you know like uh, 12 volt bat uh, 12 volt supply or 12 volt adapter or 15 volt adapter to do the charging okay and this is the connector that is taken from wurth electronics connector now coming back to the output so this is the output that will be around 8.2 volt that is set 
uh, to charge the battery so this is the battery that is there with ntc incorporated inside okay here uh, i have used symbol 3 volt but don't take that one uh, the battery voltage is uh, 2 cell lithium ion okay so you can utilize any kind of uh, symbol for your understanding that doesn't matter and i have used if you do not want to use a temperature measurement then you can do or temperature shutdown then you can utilize one 10 kilo ohm uh, shutdown uh, 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor with this particular pin got it now coming back to status leds the status leds i cannot use you know like uh, this v out to drive this particular leds i have to use 3.3 volts so 3.3 volts separate a power supply I have used to drive these two status LEDs one is red one is green and it will show you whether the you know like according to the design process that I had explained you if it is continuously glowing then whether it is charging or if it is blinking then whether it is you know like a fault condition or something like that okay so those things I have already explained you you can see my video number 55 okay so in that I have explained very clearly what is the status LEDs based on what condition their status is okay now let me take you to the design process of this particular uh, current setting charge safety timer setting and voltage setting okay so let me open the excel sheet for you so this is the excel sheet that I have used for two cell lithium ion charger okay and in this you can see here very clearly that K I said that is current setting factor is given in the data set that is 300 ampere ohm. Now let me enter a I set value which is fast charge current setting value which is set to 100 milliamp. So you can see the calculated value that is coming for the resistor R I set is 3000 ohm that is 3 kilo ohm. Okay. If you want you can increase to 150 milliamps and you will see there is a change in the R I set which is uh, 200, 2, 2 kilo ohm. So this can be designed using this particular uh, formula which is I charging is equal to K I set by R I set. So R I set can be K I set divided by I charging. So I charging is known to 100 milliampere. So that's the reason R I set is 3 kilo ohm. Okay. Now charge charging chemistry and safety timer setting will be set using CHM timer pin which will be 5 hours. So we have to see table 7.1 and 7.2 for charge safety timers and voltage settings okay so let us see table number 7.1 first 7.1 is here okay so for lithium ion batteries as you can see for 5 hours it is said that 100 kilo ohm you utilize if you want to set this to 10 hours then you have to use 82 kilo ohm and if you want to disable the charging okay uh, like charge safety timer then you have to use 62 kilo ohm okay so our aim is to use 100 kilo ohm for 5 hours charge safety timer okay similar to that for voltage setting you can see uh, we have two cell lithium ion so we'll go to two cell lithium ion batteries here so two cell lithium ion batteries we have two options one is 8.2 volt setting and one is 8.4 volt setting so if you want v set v set to set at 8.2 volt then you have to use 4.7 kilo ohm and if you want to use uh, if you want to set it to 8.4 volt then you have to use 3.6 kilo ohm that's the very understandable method okay so that's the reason 4.7 kilo ohm you will we will use for 8.2 volt and 100 kilo ohm chm timer safety will use for 5 hours so this is how the design was very simple and you can see uh, 3 kilo ohm is used for i set and 100 kilo ohm is used for charge safety timer and 4.7 kilo ohm is used for charge voltage which is set to 8.2 volt got it if you want you can have additional uh, you know like uh, understandability here as let us say you want to run the system through directly so let's say this is my load okay or system so you can use one uh, diode and you can directly connect to here okay one more thing if you want to have a you know like a compatibility of battery voltage directly there so let's say this connector you don't need there that time so in that case what you can do is you can utilize one of the mosfet like this okay and you can connect to your load got it 
so this is how what will happen is <coughs> so this is my uh, source drain and this is my gate got it so in that case this particular battery voltage what will happen is uh, whenever there will be no power it will be switched uh, this battery voltage to the system this is my load or system and it will drive the load okay so this is how you can incorporate this particular circuit using this so you have to make sure uh, what is the current you know like capability or load current that is needed so at least two to three times of current you have to utilize uh, this particular mosfet okay so this particular mosfet let us say let me give you an example let's say the current requirement here is 2 ampere okay then the mosfet that you will be using utilize minimum 5 ampere or more okay 5 ampere or more ratings mosfet that you try to use so using this you can same way just now it had given here you can see exactly same circuit you can utilize to drive your load directly got it all right guys uh, if you do have any question regarding this or if you have you know like any other requirement regarding the i set values or safety charge safety timer values or voltage setting values or if you have any kind of other you know like uh, i mean batteries that you want to have a, a charger design or you want to have other medical grade like medical devices or any other kind of lithium ion battery charger then you can always put down your questions in the comment box and we shall be able to answer you out this is a linear charger ic that i already told you and it is a very simple ic very low cost ic that's the reason i am giving you this particular understanding of complete design for uh, lithium ion as well as lithium ferrum phosphate and nickel metal hydride batteries okay but uh, generally these uh, charging methods are not recommended for high end applications because they need to have lot of safety features uh, like uh, what is my current monitor or uh, some other status pin and all those things and there you may need to you know like uh, regulate the uh, voltages much better way okay because linear ic's will get hot if you in you, if there is a difference between these two voltage like v input and v output if there is very high difference then it may be difficult to regulate the output voltage because of heat dissipation across the linear ic's so that's the reason linear ic's are not recommended for those application but for low cost application and you know like handheld devices and all these are really useful so thank you guys thank you so much for understanding this particular uh, you know like battery charger ic uh, for two cell lithium ion battery charger application thank you bye